All right, getting the brick here. Uh, just got through watching Brickstar's video on uh, the sorting trades that he was doing. Uh, he's also talking about, uh, let's see here, the most parts in your store. Yeah, I'm one of those guys, too, that probably bought a pick a brick wall or bought some massive huge thing. And I'll see here. Yeah, this is going to be the uh, double cheese black slopes. I probably got the, I got the most of in my store. I probably got about 500, maybe 600 of those. I've been my store's been closed for over over a week and coming up on two weeks. Uh, I decided to put new barcode systems in. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do this video real quick also was he was talking about his sorting trays on this video, and he used the one Toys R Us, which you can hardly find anymore. But these come from. Harbor Freight. They're $8.99, generally speaking. Uh, they got removable trays. Uh, they're usually on sale every other month, every couple months or whatever. Got a nice handle, so when you're over there pulling parts, you could, you know, do the Jabo thing over there. Yeah. Get the tray cam. And, so you got something to hold on to right there. One thing he didn't like about his is couldn't remove or do any dumps you always had to his are all fixed and basically you get these things and they come with a lid on them but you just pop the lid off and and you could you have a sorting tray that you could pull parts from uh yeah the barcodes pretty neat i'll do a video or whatever show something they're on there but removes the uh let me get this done real quick you know the the human side uh, failure in your store that way when you're doing numbers putting numbers in you just scan a barcode instead of in your remarks instead of type each, each individual number over there and have a chance for making a mistake uh just a br uh brick in the bucket did a video on that uh, but I am getting so close. I've probably got one, two, three. I gotta put up another row or two of those. So I probably got four uh, more rows, which is 16. Uh, more drawers to condense all my inventory in. Uh, those are all the stand cases right there, though. And I am almost from. And uh, I'm condensing everything down to. This wall, while I'm barcoding everything, and that way I can expand out. So right now, I'll be working from this wall when I open up on Monday, uh, and expand from there. Put up some more bins as as I as my store grows. Go along that wall eventually there will be something other in the middle and then whoop i got my shoe boxes over here uh some part outs of this is uh, the uh, wonder woman 84 set i've already parted out it's ready to go in whenever let's put it in all these because I also use these as sorting trays too. So I'll take these over to the house and we can sit there and watch a movie and sort parts. And I can bring them back over here without them worry about anything spilling. Boop! There we go. Got to load one over that. But that's what I use as sorting trays. And uh, that's what I'm pulling my orders with. I do have another thing. I do have two of these. A lot of a lot of times or what there, whenever I got small orders, other onesie twosies or whatever, I've got two of these. These also come from Harbor Freight for a couple of dollars. 
uh, this one stays on the scale, part scale. It's already tore. It's already set at zero, so. But I got another one over over here somewhere that I pull orders for with. But I am getting close to being done, and everything will be barcoded, scanned, organized, counted. And I plan on have, having at least 97% accuracy in the store. Uh, hopefully I get brick packers or brick sink set up and I can keep everything accurate. Uh, there is a small discrepancy or whatever in my inventory uh, because I also do the clutch thing. Uh, I may not count my drawers to the fullest. So let's say my parts counter says I've got 44 of a part and my count shows that I've got 50. I'm going to go with the parts counter or vice versa. If the parts counter says I got 60 of this part and, and the store inventory says I got 48. I'm going to go with the lowest number. So there's... The drawers with the hot, you know, highest volume or what there may have 10 or 20, maybe extra parts in them at the most. Um, that way, um, I could, you know, I could always add stuff to my inventory. You know, whenever people make orders, I could adjust my inventory numbers or whatnot. And that way I could be a little more efficient and be a little more accurate or whatever. So. That's one of the reasons why there's like a 2% discrepancy among uh, inventory. It just so I could work more efficiently or whatever and not have to worry about running out of parts or make a mistake, you know, or because when you're dealing with 100, 200 pieces or whatever, there's always going to be somebody that's going to dump your drawer or whatever. And when you do a drawer dump, It'd be nice to go there and have 192 pieces in their bag versus having 188 pieces when they ordered 192. So that's the reason why I keep less on my inventory. But I am going to get back to this. And I just thought I'd break out and do a video real quick. Peace. Love. Brick out.